We all know that we're facing urgent climate challenges, and it's crucial that we find sustainable solutions to address them. One long-term solution that holds great promise is the circular economy. This concept calls for a fundamental shift in how we use and reuse resources, aiming to achieve economic prosperity without depleting the Earth's resources. Many businesses are beginning to see the value of this system, which is essential because when we look at the circular economy diagram, we see that businesses have a significant role to play in almost all stages. Raw material acquisition, production, logistics, warehousing, retail. They control most of the processes that impact all of us and the world we live in. However, there's one crucial section that businesses don't control. What happens to their products after they've been purchased? Without this section of the diagram working and those products being returned so the resources are cascading back into the system, we will never achieve a circular economy. Therefore, an important group of supply chain stakeholders are now coming into the spotlight. Consumer engagement becomes crucial. So my thesis addresses the question of how firms can invoke stronger consumer engagement in returning materials within closed loop supply chains. What I was especially interested in was the types of goods that have been under-researched. Numerous studies have focused on high value goods such as laptops and phones. And while this is important, it has shrouded the opportunity for lower cost and involvement goods. Low involvement in this context means that less thought and care is given to the product at the time of purchase and likely at the time of disposal. I use an extended theory of planned behavior as the theoretical lens to understand the factors influencing consumers' intentions. Along with the traditional theory of planned behavior factors of attitude, subjective norms, and perceived behavioral control, the study also explores habits and moral norms. A survey was conducted focusing on three low-involvement products you may have in your own home. Coffee pods, printer cartridges, and batteries. Data was collected from respondents in New Zealand and Australia and analysed using structural equation modelling. There were two key findings for this study. Firstly, consumers are impacted by their perceived behavioural control and moral beliefs, meaning that convenience, accessibility and education on the environmental impact should be prioritised. Secondly, consumers are not significantly impacted by any of the other factors. Therefore, robust policy implementation becomes essential in driving behavioural change and fostering circular opportunities. This is vital because behaviours are difficult to alter without policy support. Beyond policy, these findings support the design of more effective supply chains, where the intentions of the consumer are better catered for and considered from the start. Designing products and return systems with these in mind will support the development of the circular economy in Aotearoa, New Zealand.